I want you to go. Then the second way is when you start making income, you can invest that income, right? Because you cannot just take everything. You can just take and take. You got to take, you got to give, give, then you receive. So you got to take some of that income you make from the business to invest into your business in order for your business to grow bigger so you can make more income. So the first route is pretty much simple. Anybody can do this. It's just a matter of being serious so it can make some serious income. It's the favorite approach. What do I mean by that? When I first started in this company, I didn't have the money to invest into my business. You know, I was broke. I needed to make extra income. I had bad credit. So all I did is pretty simple. I went on my phone contact list. I went on my Facebook. I think I bought my old classmate, my coworkers, family members, and I start making calls. All I was saying, my close circle, people that I spoke to in a daily, people that know me, I was approaching them, asking for a favor. It's pretty simple. I call you and I'm saying, hey, um, hey, what's going on? This is Bertrand. Uh, it's been a minute we didn't talk. Oh, how's it going, man? And listen, man, I need a huge favor. Most people, when you ask them for a huge favor, they're thinking, oh, you need some money. Man, this guy needs some money. I ain't got no money to give him, right? Even you guys, when somebody asks for a favor, you're already like, you're really on the side. You don't want to reply, right? So once I say I need a huge favor, and it's always best to call instead of texting because the person might think you're asking them for money and they don't reply. So when I ask for a favor, I raise the bar, right? And then the favor that I ask them is not even that much. So they're going to be like, yeah, I can do it. I say, hey, man, I just started my business. I'm taking the route to become an entrepreneur. You know, I don't want, I'm just tired of working a job where I'm not making extra, enough income. You know, I want to make this happen. And I would have support you. You know me. I would have support you. And I just need your support, man. Look, this is what I do. I help people with their credit. Do you need help with your credit? And they're going to let you know, yeah, we need help. But don't focus more on the credit repair aspect. Focus more on the favor. But as you ask for the favor, find out if they need help with their credit, right? And then you're going to say, do me this huge favor, man. Support my business, right? I'm trying to make it, man. And it will mean the world for me for you to support me. Hey, auntie, support me. Hey, sister, support me. Hey, cousin, support me. Hey, best friend, support me. How can you be my best friend and you're not supporting me starting my own business? How can you, you be my sister? You, you my cousin, right? You my mom, dad, and you're not supporting my business. If I make it and I, have, I make a lot of income, I become successful, guess what? Your close family members will benefit from it some way, somehow. So once I ask you for the favor, now they can't tell me no. Think about it. Your best friend going to look at you dead in the eye. No, I don't want to support your business. Hey, Joe Johnson, hey, I don't want to support you, man. Are you my best friend? And you do need help with your credit. Some of the time, you already know your friends, your close family members. You already know the situation. You already know some of them got bad credit. They be calling you, try to put something on your, on your name. So now... You supporting me, and you're getting help with your credit. Now, it's not even about the company. I'm like, man, don't worry about the company. You're supporting me, man. I put my name on this. Now, they're supporting you, and then you can close a few customers. Now, what you can do, if it's very close family members or whatever the case might be, you, you might know they don't have uh, enough income to pay the 188 You can get them on a discount price. You get them to start at $89. As simple as that, in one day, you get your first five customers, so you don't have to pay that $89 fee to keep your business going. Is everything making sense so far? And what you do, you don't stop there, because this business is a word of mouth marketing. What does that mean? Somebody tells somebody, somebody else tells somebody. So if you close any customers, anybody gets si signed up, right? Or the case might be they're like, man, my credit is good. I cannot sign up because I don't want to pay that bill, whatever. Now you're going to ask them for a favor to share your business. Some of them have Facebook. They got Instagram. They got WhatsApp, Snapchat, Twitter. They got their close circle. They got family members. Now you're going to make it happen where you say, hey, here's what I want you to post. Here's a few people that I want you to call and put me on the phone with them. 
Don't just tell them, hey, refer me a few people. This is not happening. That's not how business is done. Business is done on appointment and make it happen right away at the moment. If you say, oh, just refer me a few friends or do this. No, it's not happening. You got to send it to them. Say, hey, this is what I want you to share on your page on Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp to support me, support my business, right? And anybody you know in your circle, who do you know in your circle? Cousin, you think they might need help with their credit? Call them right now. You're doing this to support me. Let's put them on a three or call. Now, you do that right now. You put them on the three or call. They put, they put them on a three or call with you. And then you speak to them, right? And you find out what's going on with their credit. Now, your close friend or family members can vouch for you, saying that, yeah, I know him. Yeah, that's my cousin. It would not do you wrong. Get the service from him. Now, anybody that's serious, this is doable. And you don't pay a dime to get this done. Let's be honest. So many of you guys here have not approached your cousin, your close friends, your family members. You have not asked them for the favor to become your customer to support you. How many of you guys say, hey, I'm going to go do my business outside. When I got success, I'm going to come back to my friends and family. I know a lot of people say that. That's wrong. Don't say that. It's just that you don't know how to approach them the right way for them to support you. You try to push the business to them instead of asking them for the favor to support your business. Imagine your close circle, how many people could support you and become your customer. If you approach them the right way, you make the phone call. So what I want you to do is write down right now, I'm not going to make any excuses, right? I'm going to approach close circles, family, friends, coworkers, who that you close with, for the favor approach to become my customer. Don't sell them the business. Tell them to support you. You're going to call them. I need a huge favor, right? And let them know I need five minutes right now to talk to you. Do me the, the, the favor. Support me. Become my client. This will mean the world for me. If you make it important enough, they'll support you. Why? Because they know you will support them too. Or you have supported them before. So why would they deny you? It's when you try to sell them the business, now they decline the business, and you get your feeling hurts. Oh, they don't want to become my customer. No, because you try to sell them the company. They did not deny you. They didn't decline you. They deny the company, because you try to sell them a company. They don't know you as a credit repair consulting. That's why they deny you. But if you came where I need the favor first, it's all about you supporting me, then the company after, because we have some amazing services where you get your credit worked on, then now they will not deny you. Because I would not tell my best friend, man, I, my credit is bad already, right? Let's say my credit was bad. And then my best friend approached me to support him to become a client. And it's affordable. And I turn my best friend, I just turn him off. I, I turn it back. I'm like, no, I can't do this. I'm not going to support you. How would your best friend feel? So this is why you need to do the favor approach first. Now I'm gonna show you how you can actually pay to get leads, get a lot of customers. I'm gonna show you this. Uh, let's just dive into it. I'm gonna dive into the information real quick with you guys. Uh, let me see if I can show you an example. Um, so what you do is when you have them post on Instagram or, or, or Facebook, and then one of your leaders or in the group, you're gonna reach out to them, say, hey, why can't I have them post for me? They'll tell you what to post and they can tag you and you can generate leads. So wherever you sign up in your circle, friends or family, always have to make a post for you to support you because you might find some leads from that. And then from that leads, you find one or two that sign up, you do the same thing again. And then you have them post again. And we have some uh, amazing services. We have that, the powerful, the, the power of five, where the person refer five customers, they get the services for free. So you actually benefit them if they become a client. So always push that. This is going to get you a lot of free leads, a lot of free customers, where you don't spend a dime to get them. Now, for some of you, it's a little advanced where the income you make from those customers you sign up or the income you start making from the business, you don't go ahead and spend it. You don't go ahead and pay all your bills with that. What you do is you save that money and you, re you reinvest into your business. This is where you get on social media and then you start running ads. You pay for leads. This is what I'm about to show you right now, guys. Okay? Just stay with me. All right? So we're going to dive into it. 
we're going to dive into it. All right. Just one second. Is everything making sense so far? Great information, everybody. Great information. All right. So what I'm about to show you, uh, this is a slide that I created. It's called Customer Acquisition. I'm going to show you what you can do to actually start, you know, uh, paying Instagram or Facebook so that you can share your information online so you can reach out to more people and close more customers. Now you're running a business. Now, this is not you asking for a favor because at some point you're going to run out of uh, people to ask for a favor, right? But if you took that money, you invest into your business, it's going to bring you back profits. You can invest again and bring you back profits because you're running a business. If you want to make big income, you cannot run the business just based on your friends and family. Somebody keep writing on the screen. Let me disable that real quick, guys. Um, everybody, just, just be serious about this. Um, you cannot be you know, writing on the screen. This is an important training. Just be respectful. Uh, let's keep moving, okay? So, cool. So, it's pretty simple. What I'm going to show you guys right now is pretty much how you can, you know, use the script properly, run some ads, generate some leads, build your paid job, become an influencer. Meaning when people, when people come across your page, they're like, okay, this guy is me in business. This guy is legit. They want to do business with you, right? Learn which link to use is very important. A lot of you guys got in the business. You don't pay attention to nothing. You don't get in the training. You don't know how to run your, your business, how to close customers. So it's pretty simple, guys. What I, we need you to do when you first started to get on social media, it's pretty simple. If you have Instagram, I'm going to show you how to you know, turn your Instagram into a money-making machine. Instead of going to Instagram to gossip, all right, to check what's going on in somebody else's life, you're going to mind your business, build your business on Instagram. Where when you go on Instagram, it's to close some deals and make some money. Okay? Now, pretty simple. Anybody that have an Instagram or that do not have an Instagram, you want to create an Instagram. But once you create your Instagram, this is what you're going to do so Instagram can allow you to run ads, okay? You can also do this on Facebook and Instagram. It's pretty simple. Once you go on your Instagram, you're going to log into Instagram. You're going to go on promotion. You're going to, go, you're going to click on the setting. It's very simple. You click on the setting. Once you click on the setting, if you can look at my screen right now, on the right-hand side, you'll see this showing up to you, where it says, I bought your account, uh, all that stuff. You're going to click, I think it's about, you're going to click on account, and you're going to scroll down. Once you scroll down, at the bottom, you'll see where it says switch to business account. Right now, mine says switch to personal, it's because it's already a business account, but you want to flip your Instagram from a personal account into a business account. Reason why... Once you become a business account, it's open, more people can see it, and Instagram will allows you to pay a fee so they can share your, your, your picture, share your information all over the place so you can reach out to more people, right? Once this is done, next step to do, you want to edit your bio. Very simple. You're going to go where it says edit your profile, and then now you're going to change some information in there. I see some people in this business where I go in their bio and they're talking about different things where it's like, I'm a real one or whatever. No, we don't want that. Okay. This is a business. You're going to change your bio. You're not going to hot summer girl, hot summer, but no, you're going to change all that stuff and put what you do as a business. You got two options. You can make money on Instagram or you can watch other people making money, living their best life on Instagram. You decide which one you want to do. I'd rather make the money on Instagram. So you edit your profile, and then you add a little bit about yourself and what you do. Like you can see on mine, I put credit professor. I, I put what I do, and I put some information in there so people can see. And, okay, this guy's professional. This is what he does. Now, when it comes to running ads, what do I mean by that? is the fact that Facebook will let you post a, uh, Instagram will let you post a picture and you can pay a fee daily, right? So that can share the picture where people that you don't know will be able to see it. Meaning that people that don't follow you, that don't know you, they'll be able to see what you post and they'll be able to reach out to you, say they need help with the credit, whatever you promote. So you're gonna go on, 
your setting again, you go and where it says add payments, and you're gonna go at there, go in there, and you will add your card, your card payment information. You can add your debit card, you can put your PayPal. I love putting PayPal because it's it's more safe and secure. You can put your PayPal account or you can put your Visa or debit card account. Okay. Now, once this is done, you're almost ready to start running some ads, to start paying Instagram to share your picture and make some income. Okay, I'm gonna show you what do I mean by that. Now, um, just going over this real quick, I wanna show you guys some of the stuff that I, want you, I don't want you guys to do. Uh, when you're running ads, you gotta make sure your page is ready first. Um, we're gonna get into it right now. Cause some of you guys, uh, you just go on there and you post whatever, you do whatever on Instagram. And you expect to close a lot of customers. This doesn't work that way. Because the, per the, the people that come on your page, they don't know you. They're very skeptical because they met you online, which is okay. If your page don't look apart, they don't want to do business with you. What do I mean? Now, when you brand new in this business, do not create a new Instagram page. I see a lot of people try to do that. I've never seen anybody you know, succeed with this. I never, unless you bring you, and I, I've seen so many people fail in this business because they're trying to separate the business with their life. This business is a lifestyle. You got to in, incorporate this business into your lifestyle. If not, this might not be for you. They try to say, oh, I got some nice pictures on there. I don't want to change my page. No, nope. you're going to make your page into a, it's about you and about what you do and you represent you in the highest way like professionally when you get just got in you're going to create a habit where you start posting three to four times you're going to create a patterns to make your page look nice which i'm about to show you what do i mean you're going to clean your page anything that will represent you in a professional way you're going to archive them or delete it and we're going to need you to post a nice pic of yourself meaning what do i mean don't just post about your business business you're going to need to post about yourself more often because the people want to put a face on the page they want to know if you're real okay videos of people that got results meaning they had um, negative item delete don't post the actual results because it's not compliant but post that somebody that's talking i got in the service and this is the reason i've been able to have i'm very excited i've been able to buy a home buy a car post videos like that as well and you're going to post something that motivate like a, a, a motivational quote why because people that come on your page or some of your followers they don't want to hear credit pay every single day they want to stay on your page if you bring value so somebody don't want to hear you every single day talking about credit pay credit pay credit pay credit pay they want you to bring value they want you to motivate them and this is how they connect with you they actually feel like they know you as a person even though they're just following instagram and that's how they connect with you Later on, they might become a customer or an agent because they're watching you to see what you do. So don't just post credit pair, credit pair, result, result, credit pair, credit pair. Post a low code that motivate them to get them going on, you know, throughout the day. You, you can show credit score increase. You cannot show result of item that's been deleted. I had that slide before this new compliant rule. So don't post any result showing the negative item delete of the person credit report. Okay, this is not compliant. But definitely post somebody that bought a car or bought a house. Do not post everything you came across. This is one of the biggest mistakes on Instagram I see a lot of people do. They got in this business. They're on the chat. Somebody put something that motivated them. Oh, their copy save. Boom, they share it. They see somebody else post something. Screenshot. Boom, share it. You cannot just post everything on your page. You got to time yourself. Because your page needs to be mostly about you and value you bring to them don't post everything you come across if not your page is gonna look like a scam and what you want to do you want to unfollow the people that do not follow you back there's an app called unfollow it's for instagram a lot of you guys i know you follow, follow a lot of ladies some of the ladies don't follow you back okay uh i'm not taking a jab at nobody but what you want to do is just go on that unfollow app and unfollow 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 you're running a business. There's no point on keeping the person on your page and they're not even following you back. They can't see never, nothing that you post. But you want to go ahead and like the picture. You want to be a fan. Unfollow them. Okay? Why? 
because Instagram have this uh, kind of rule where the person come across your page, if they see that you follow a bunch of people and you have a few people that follow you back, they feel like you're not legit or you're not respected, that like they can take you serious. I'm just letting you know what it is. I don't make the rules. Look at the bottom where you see the, sc the, the screenshot I show you. If your page look like this, it's wrong. Where you got so many posts, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 posts, and you only got 2,000 followers or 100 followers, whatever the case might be. And then you following a bunch of people. No, unfollow some of those people. It's cool, like every day you could follow new people, and then those that don't follow you back to unfollow them after a day or two. The app is called Unfollow. Uh, somebody in the chat could probably type it up. I'm sure somebody used that app before, and then you, can, you guys can look it up and get the app and start, you know, doing that to build your page. This is the first steps before you start actually, you know, running promotion on Instagram to actually get leads. Now, you want to connect with you. You want to expand your network. Some, some of the, a lot of, a lot, it's very often when you first started, a lot of your old followers or some of your circle, that people that follow your Instagram on, on Facebook, they don't get started right away. It's not that, you know, the business don't work. They just want to see you do it a little bit longer. So what you do, you expand your network first, and some of the time they're going to come back. And as you keep being consistent, they're going to come back. Okay, now you want to connect with new people because like I explained to you, some of your old followers, they're looking, they're watching you. That's why you want to stay consistent. Now, let me show you the next step. This is the patterns that I spoke about to make your page look nice. You can do it like a triangle. Some of your leaders already know how to do it. They'll be able to help you. You can build your page where it look like a triangle like this. Why? It just gives you a good structure. So that way you don't end up just posting everything you came across. And also, it looked very nice. It, it make an impact on somebody that just came across your page. You stand out. It's clean, and then you're following a structure. So when they come on your page, you're like, oh, I like this guy. I like the structure. I like it. I like this style. You know, she's, she's, she's very professional. So you leave a, a, a good impression, okay? Or you can do the straight down where... Every picture is everything in colors on one side and the other thing on uh, that's white or blue, whatever the color you decide it to be, it's on one side, okay? And you can be original. You can create your own brand. A lot of, a lot of people in this business have done it before where they got that black uh, thing going on or purple where when you come across their page, you can see it's like a signature move where they use that color on their page, okay? Or the purple, whatever the case might be. If you want to go that route, maybe for the ladies, it's pink, uh, purple, blue, whatever. Uh, some of the the leaders here and agents already doing it. They'll be able to help you out with that, uh, so you can do the same as well. Now let's keep moving. Uh, this is an example of what not to do. Um, a lot of people I come across their page and and it look like a whole mess. Uh, if that's what you're doing and you're not getting results on Instagram, this is why you're not getting results because your page look like a spam. You look like a scammer on Instagram. It doesn't look good. You can't tell who this account belongs to. Look out on the left-hand side. It's a bunch of we need credit repair, new level, uh, agent needed, car just bought, uh, video of testimonies. There's no value. I don't know who you are. And all you keep doing is spamming people with this information. I can't even tell if you're actually living a good life. If you're a real person, you're legit. If I want to do business with you, if I want to connect with you. So if your page look like this, just go ahead and delete all of the stuff and start it over. Okay? Because if I can't see your face on your page, I don't want to do business with you. I don't know who you are. I think you're probably a little kid behind your computer trying to talk to me and scam me. The other side, the person speak, speak about a lot of things, but no businesses. Look at this. They don't even talk about the credit repair, none of that stuff. If your page is looking like that, remove it. And some of you guys that's doing the color thing, uh, don't put something that's so strong where it, it doesn't look professional. Be careful. Just make sure your page always looks professional and always post about yourself more on your page. Okay? Next step. Uh, this is a good way that you can bring people on board in this business for free. Very simple. When you go on one of those influencer accounts like Grant Cardone, 
you know, like any big page that you follow, like the shade room, just leave a positive comment on their page. Why? It's like leaving your business card on there. Now, if it's a positive comment, people like it, or you reply to something somebody says on a positive way, most of the time people are going to end up going on your page and they'll see what you do. And then you're going to get some leads, people reaching out to you and try to do business with you. Happens to me all the time. You can go on the shared room, you leave a positive comment. You reply to somebody comment. Grant Cardone, you leave a positive comment. You reply to somebody comment. Never leave something negative. Why? Because it's just like the person, it's a negative vibe. If you bring out negative vibe, you're going to get negative vibe back. Don't try to go in there and talk like bad. Oh, yeah, she's a whatever. No. Once you do that, you're going to get the same energy you put in. If it's a bad energy, that's what you're going to receive. People are going to go on your page and leave bad energy. They're going to talk bad to you. Okay? Now, once you do that, people are just going to... One day that happened to me. I'm going to let you guys know what happened. I left a comment on Green Cardone, and then Green Cardone liked it and replied. And what happened is I closed about three customers from that because people went on my page to see who I am and they see all the contents, everything that I post about my business, they end up becoming, becoming, I end up closing two, three customers. Very simple. Example again, I went on a page for my Haitian folks. I went on a page, it's like a famous page, like Vibe Creole or something like that. I left a comment on there and I said something, I replied to somebody comment. And it was one of my business partner now, which is Gene Busico. I never knew the guy before, but I left, I replied to his comment. I said something positive. He replied to me, right? And what I did, I went on his page. I liked two or three pictures and I follow him. Don't like all the pictures. Don't be creepy. Especially if it's a lady, don't go ahead and like all the picture because they're going to feel some type of way. I like two or three pictures and I follow him. And what happened is we connect. He followed me back. And then I'm watching. I didn't DM him directly. I'm watching. And what I did, I went into his Instagram stories. And I replied to one of them. And then he was like, the conversation started. I invited him to take a look at the business. Got started. Now, the guy is an executive sales director. Not even original. He's an executive sales director now. Somebody I never knew I met on Instagram. Become an executive sales director in the business and my team. So you guys can do the same as well. Do not rush the recruiting process. Form them. Have a little conversation so they can feel comfortable with you. Now, when it comes to shout out, uh, it's very simple. Uh, instead of, let me, let me just log in so I can show you what I mean by that. I think we have at least 10 minutes left, right? We have at least 10 minutes left. Let me just go in there and I can show you. Um, Mr. Joe Johnson, if you're in here, um, what I need you to do for me, um, I need you to, to make my order. I'm logging into my order uh, cell phone. It's called Credit Professor. Uh, I need you to make me a co-host on there so I could share my screen um, and show them how to run an ad and how to do a shout out. Would you be able to do that for me? It's right here, it's called Credit Professor. <clears throat> I don't know if I have access to do it myself. Uh, Mr. Curlis Cassis or Mr. Joe Johnson, can you make a uh, credit professor or co-host it's my yep. cell phone all right thank you appreciate it
Okay, okay, okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you an example how to do it. Okay, very simple. Pay attention, everybody. This is very crucial. This is the whole point of the training. So pay, pay close attention. So this is my page right here. Okay, that's me right there. Let's say um, I want to share something like I want to run an ad so people can see it on my page. This is what I'm going to do. You can run the ad from here. I'm going to show you an example. What do I mean? Once you turn your page into a business page, when you go here, you go on setting, you go on accounts, you scroll down, and then here it shows you switch your, your page into a business page, right? And what happened is on Instagram, you got to link your Instagram to Facebook because Facebook is, the, is what actually running the ads. So how you do that? You go back, it's very simple in accounts. You go where it says link accounts, and then you go here on Facebook, and then you link your Facebook to your Instagram. Once this is done, now you're almost done and ready to run the ads. All you gotta do is go on payments right here. You go on uh, account payments, and then you add the debit card or the PayPal account that you wanna add in there. Once this is done now, and your page is built up where you go in your bio from here, and then you change some information, you add your personal information in your bio. Now you're pretty much ready uh, to run the ads. Just gotta be consistent, post a few pictures about yourself, like you see on my page right now. I don't post only about credit pair. I don't only post about being an agent. What you see is I put results, somebody fix their credit, but I'll post a picture of me. I'll post something to motivate them. I'll post something like this, People see it, they see value. They're gonna share with their friends. They're gonna stay on my page. They're gonna feel like this is, okay, I, I can relate to this guy. He's giving me the free free tips. Like I really uh, like following this page. It's worth following. They're connecting with me. And I'll post pictures of myself again. It's more about you promoting yourself than they buy into the business. Okay, I'll post pictures of myself all the time, but always try to make sure that when you post those pictures, this is not, with a weird background, uh, activities where all it's on your page is parties for the ladies. Uh, you know, I, I know, I know you ladies love uh, those those sounds or mega stallion, whatever that is. Don't just go on your page and post things about you twerking or showing your body too much in a certain way, uh, just to keep it professional. Okay. Now, once your page is built up like this, looking like that, now you can start promoting. You could post something like this where it says. Uh, let me go here um, like this. Let's say you put something like this and you want to promote it. You go here and then you click promote. You, you give it the option to say promote. You click it and you always want to select direct message because you want the people to reply to you. You hit next and you're just going to create, you create your own. You just create an uh, interest. Okay. Very simple. You go down, you go and create your own. Now, since the business in United States, you only work in United States, you can select United States, okay? Or you can just run it in one state or one city. Like you could just put your city around you, you could just put regional, and then you could put, instead of United States, you could just put Florida. You put Florida. So you know, the people that's gonna see this post live in Florida. Or you could do local, and then you do 30 miles radius. People that live around you. They can see the post, okay? Now, once you do, you're done with that, you select the interest. Now, it's pretty simple. You're running an ad for credit pair, take out but who need credit pair? People that's actually checking their credit. So you could post something like um, a bank, uh, a home loans, or you could put something like that, like um, the shed room, Wall Story Pack, or uh, single mom. Whatever the interest, once you select the interest, now the age, ver it really matter on the age. Because people that's around um, 18 years old, they don't really care about the credit or want to pay the fee to fix their credit. That's how I feel about it. So what I do, I run my ad, I do it around 24 or 25 years old, okay? Those are people that's in a situation where they try to move on, get their own place. Credit is stopping them. They already know what it is. They got to get the credit in order. And at that age, you should have actually, you know, a job, you get and pay something, you can actually go ahead and pay the small fee to fix your credit. And I'll put it down to 45 years old 
or 40 years old or 50 years old. Because once you pass 50, I feel like, you know, you don't really care about your credit at this point. And if it's for only uh, women, ladies, I select females only. If it's only for guys, I select male only, or you can select both. Now, once this is done, you hit done. And my right now is saying too broad. Let me just select an interest so you guys can see uh, what I mean by that. Okay. You create a name for your audience right here. Training. And then you just set up the fee. So based on your budget, I mean, every business has a budget. What's your budget? You don't have to go over your budget. Maybe you were able to spend $100 for the week for your promotion to get leads. Just know if you close one customer, you make $100 back. So you could do 20 a day and then you do it for um, five days. That's it. Or what I do sometimes, I put it a little higher and I'm watching the ads throughout the day. Once I go over my $20 for the day, I pause the ad and I let it run again tomorrow. Okay, just that, that helped me get more lead much, much faster. Or you just leave it at $20 a day and you let it run for the five days, you hit next, and then you go ahead and create your promotion. That's it, pretty simple. You get the same option to do it from your story. Let's say I put something in my story right now about Critty Pear. Let's go right here. Let's say I post this. I go here in my story. I go promote. And I go direct message, see, from my story. At the bottom, there's three dots. I click promote. And then from there, direct message, same process. So you've never been on Instagram. And then what happened is you're watching a story. Let me see if I see it. Let's say you're watching a story and then you swipe. And there you go. You see ads show up. This is what's going to happen too. Somebody going to be swiping off and they'll see your ad saying that if you need to fix your credit to reach out and they're gonna swipe up and they're gonna go directly message you. And that's how you get the leads. Now you can close customers and you could do the same for business partners as well. Now, when it comes to shout outs, instead of just doing that, you could actually pay people to post on their page about your business. It's pretty simple. You go here, let's say you go on a famous page, right? Let's say you go on this guy page you got 6 million followers, right? What I do, before I try to pay you to post something for me, okay? I go on your page. I look to see how many views you do, right? Let's put go on an old video that he posts, okay? He did 1 million views. Now, people can buy views or likes. So what you do, you go in the comment section so you can make sure they're real. And then you see if it's real people that comment. Once I see it's real people that comment, now I'm like, okay, and the people that come coming on your page, they're around the age where they look a little out, like, like you know, they're not young people, like kids, because I don't want to run an ad about credit pair, and it's a bunch of kids that follow you. And now I go here. You can go here, and then I go direct message, and I send this to them. I say, hey, superstar, uh, big congratulations on your success, business inquiry. And then I let them know I run a credit pair uh, business uh, if they run, if they do any advertising. So they let me know their fee. And then I, you know, I kind of discuss with them and then settle to a fee that's, con that's convenient to me. And I close the deal once it's done deal. Now I give them something to post for me so they can post on their page, say I fix credit. Once they post that on their page, their followers will see it. And they're going to text me or direct message me on Instagram. Now, this is the good thing about this. It might cost you a little bit more for a post. It might cost you 100, 150, based on the person, 300. Uh, it's based on your budget. You know, I'm not saying everybody have that kind of budget. If you do and you want to go ahead for it, go for it. What's going to happen is now their followers, it's about 6 million. Even if 1 million take a look at it or 100,000 people take a look at it, the followers trust him. Because they know that's, the, that's, that's a guy I've been following. I trust him. 
they will not post something on his page that's a scam. So they have more trust into him. When they text you, they're not going to be thinking you a scam. They're going to be ready to do business with you. So you can close them. They get started. They become a customer. That makes sense so far? So it's much easier than the ads because the ads, the person kind of think maybe you a scam or whatever. They want to talk to you first. But when they come from someone else's page, they trust this guy. And then they say, okay, this guy, Davis, will never post somebody on his page that's a scam to take our money because we follow him. We support him. Now they're going to go ahead and, and direct message you or text you saying they want to fix their credit. And all you got to do is use the script, close business, get customers. Pretty simple. Now, when it comes to what to give them to post, um, I'm sure Curtin Cassidy or Joe Johnson, some of the top leaders here, they'll be able to share that information with you. And you can, once you close a deal, you have somebody that say, yeah, they want to do the shout out for you. And then you can just go ahead and, and, and go, ahead for, go for it. And you can close some customers. You can do the same thing for agents. You can post something that say you need agents. And then people will reply to you and you start conversation with them and you close business. Okay, you just got to get on your grind. So is everything making sense so far? Do you guys like the information? Let me know in the chat if everything makes sense. Now, let me show you a few tricks that um, I've been able to do to help me uh, reply to my client much faster, much faster, much faster. I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you some of the leads that I have. Okay, so uh, this person replied to my promotion. Um, so Instagram give you the option where you can get short court. Like instead of you got to go back and forth here, go on your notes and copy and go paste, you can actually add it to your Instagram. You go here where you see the, the sign, the plus sign, you click the three dots, and then you add quick replies here, and then you're going to add the script in there. What it does to you, when I'm replying to somebody, I could just do this, and then I reply to them. It shows up. Once I do the keyword that I put in, it shows up. There's actually an app for this. It's called WordBoard. You can just click the bottom here. You'll see my click mine, WordBoard, and it shows up. If I click A4, the script shows up. If I click Cust 5, the script shows up. Okay? And the app is called WordBoard. You just go here. Word board, you download the app, okay? And if you want to send mass messages to your contacts, your, your, your phone book, you can just go and hit, hit them up. You go in here, you download this app, it's called Hit Them Up. You can send one message to over 100 people or 50 people. It's called Hit Them Up, okay? Pretty simple to use. Uh, just got to take this serious and learn it, apply what you learn while we're teaching you here. So now, um, I'm going to show you how when you're building your page, Maybe you don't have stuff to post. Let me take an example for you. Let's say Currents Cassiers post something on, her, on his page. And this is the reason why I tell everybody, you got to follow the top leaders. If you don't follow the top leaders and then you don't see what they're doing so you can do it as well, well, we try to teach you. This is what I did. I follow a few leaders, that top lead, those are the top leaders, and I take a few things from each one of them. And when I mix them together, it become my own my own thing. So it doesn't seem like I'm copying everything from this guy, Curlins, or everything from that guy, Bertrand. I took a few here from Bertrand, a few from Curlins, a few from Joe Johnson, and then this is how I go ahead and build my page up. Let's say Curlins post something about credit, somebody fix their credit. I want to post that too. I don't even have to text Curlins and say, Curlins, uh, send me this. Man, it's your business. Just do it. I go ahead, I screenshot, uh, go make sure that you crop it out right now if it's a long caption i want to take that same caption currents has this is what i do i go here i open up instagram from here from my browser from my internet browser not from the app i go in the internet browser i type instagram okay uh, it's asking me to log in one second, guys. I'm going to log in to show you exactly what I mean by that. Just give me one second. All right. Okay. 
Okay. All right, so I'm logging. I'm gonna go back. And here I'm gonna type curlins. I type K the dream builder. Now I go on Carlin's page, that same picture I screenshot, I go here and I do copy. I can copy the caption from here. So instead of me saying Carlin send me that caption or waiting for Carlin to send me the caption or for me to retap the whole caption, I copy the caption from here because I open up my Instagram from the Safari, from the internet browser. Now I go on Instagram, I go here, here's the picture I posted. And here's the same caption. I go and I post the caption. Now, if I need to modify some stuff, I just go and modify it. You know, if there's some information where it's Kenneth's phone number, I remove his phone number and put my phone number. Where in the caption he say Kill the Dream Builder, I delete Kill the Dream Builder. I put create my 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 caption. And here it is. I just post the same thing. Now, some of my followers, they're not following Kerlins. They don't know if I'm posting something Kerlins just, just post. And I'm not posting everything on this spot post. I go on someone else's page. I go on Coach Legend page. And I go on his page. I take something else from him. I screenshot it. I do the same. So this is how you keep building your page up. Does that make sense? Is it good value? I'm bringing value. If it's good value, good information, let me know in the chat. Good information. That makes sense. Good information. Everything makes sense so far. Now, do you know how to run the ads? Do you know you see how to run the ads. You see how to do the shout outs. And you know how to approach your close friends and family members to get customers. So absolutely nothing should stop you to actually go ahead and close customers in this business. Now, let me stop sharing my screen. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And um, now I'm going to wrap it up real quick. I'm sure I went over my time. Girl is going to be upset. <laughs> But uh, I just need to give you guys all this good information. And um, uh, all right, great, thank you. All right, so uh, before I wrap it up, Curlins, I know, I know you're gonna come for me. <laughs> they just wanted the information, I give him the information. Now, go in the back office, uh, corporate is very, very on us about this. So I want everybody to stay compliant. It's not that corporate don't want us to, to win and get a lot of customers. It's more of it's a government uh, thing where when you're in a business, there's rules you got to follow. If you don't follow the rules, what happens is they're going to shut down the business. And I love this company. I would not want this company to get shut down because some of you, some people, uh, I'm not saying anybody on here, but I'm saying general, some of the agents don't follow the rules. They post whatever they want. They don't stay in compliant. Make sure you stay compliant. This is very, very important. We don't want to get into no trouble with corporate because if uh, we give the company get in trouble, it will impact everybody. If the company gets shut down, uh, the money that we make in here in this company and you can't make in this company, you will not have the same opportunity to grow and, and build this business. So stay compliant. Go in the back office. If you don't see the same verbiage, the same words on the stuff that you try to post, uh, do not post it or reach out to somebody first and ask if this is compliant before you go ahead and post it. Now, script, anybody that's brand new, some of you guys brand new, you don't know nothing about your, your customer links, your back office, none of that stuff. Make sure you go ahead and spend some time going to the back office, log in and log out. Now, you want to go in your notes. If you have an iPhone or a Samsung, just go and create a note, something like that. And you want to save the enrollment links. Save your customer links where it shows a discount for the, the full price 188. Save the discount link. Save the agent link. Save all the links. So when somebody want to sign up, you don't have to, oh, where's my link? I got to log in, log out. The link is there ready to, ready to send to them. Save the script in your notes. Have the script ready. And all I do, all Curlis is doing is using the script. Some of you guys just don't use the script. Just use the script. We don't have a secret, a secret script we're using where we're hiding stuff, we use that script and the script works. Currently, it's closed a lot of customers with that script. I close a lot of customers with the script. Now, showing you, I use my script. I went over the script and I've been able to get results. Some of you guys, when you run into people that's giving you a hard time saying, I don't know if this is real or, 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 or a scam, what you do, this is a little trick I learned. Um, I took a screenshot of the app 
I send them that we have an app, and I send them all the information about about us. I say download an app to monitor your progress. We have customer service number, service uh, from 9 a.m. till actually 5:30 p.m. Uh, fax number, and I send them the mailing address. I send them the email address. So that way, they see it's a real company. They see that we have an app, and they know this is legit. Okay. So once the person see we have an app, they get all that information showing that the company is legit. You know, that clears some doubts. And if they have more doubts, let them know that, hey, we've been in business over 16 years, or reach out to one of your leader uh, to say, hey, what's the best answer should I give that person? Done that, over 130 customers in a matter of two months that are closing the business. So you guys do the same, you'll be able to get a lot of customers as well. Uh, just to wrap it up, um, I started building my page. It was around, what, I had about, uh, 5,000 followers, 3,000 followers, and I grew to 6,000. And then now my pages build up to over 45,000 followers. And um, it's just because I, I've been consistent for a year. And this is the end results. Some of you want the results. You want to get paid before you put the work in. It does not work that way. Have you ever went to a job interview and said, pay, pay me the full amount for the year before I actually get to work? It does not work that way. You got to work first. Then you get the money. And some of you looking for quick results, uh, you can't have a micro mentality with this business. This is not a job. You're not going to see the result right away. This is a business. In a business, you got to build a business in order for the business to start, you know, keeping up with itself, meaning that the business making profits just for the business to be running, right? Because this is what most people does. They invest ten thousands of dollars to open up a business. The first year or two, the business is just able to pay itself meaning the business paying the bills and stuff like that. Then after three to five years, the person start making the profits. We don't have to wait that, that long time, that time frame here in this business, but just know first, your business might take a little longer than someone else to take off. It's okay. Just wait for your turn. Keep working. Wait for your turn. It's going to build up, build up, build up. Then the business is going to start exploding. You're going to find the right people, and then they're going to start doing this with you. You don't need everybody in your business. You only need five core people to become a senior vice president and make a lot of income. You don't need a lot of people. You need five of current cashes on your team. Think about if you have five current cashes on your team in each leg. Where would your life be right now? If you have five curlings on your team, what if you had one curlings, one Joe Johnson in your team, you had a Doc Moyes in your team, right? You had a me in your team. Right, and um, you had a Will Smith in your team, or just because if you have five of those people on your team, your t your business will be amazing. It's okay when you're going through the numbers, people don't sign up. Just know you're not looking for everybody, you're looking for the right five people, so don't get discouraged. It's hard to find quality people, it's like dating when you're dating, you don't find quality people from the start. Some of them waste your time, right? When you're dating. Waste your money too, but then when you find the right one, you got a, a beautiful family, you marry, have kids, whatever, you're happy. So it's the same thing with this business. It's like dating. Take your time to build your business. Now, this is the end results in the business that's going to happen for you. Your page is going to look professional. You're going to have over 20 customers. Think about it. Just getting customers alone. i never seen any other network marketing business where you can make a six-figure income on customers alone. Just of customers, not even agents. You get 20 customers a month at the one eighty eight price. You keep doing the ads I show you, the shout outs, right? You make $2,000 for the month extra. You got a full-time income, full-time job. You got your job, you're making $2,000 extra. Now do 2,000 times 12 in a year, that's $24,000 that you need. On the side, and if you know how to save your money, that money will stay there. You can start another business. What if you become a superstar like, like, like Curlis, like Joe Johnson? like Wismith, like Doc Moyes, like Jessica, right? Like Jim Busico, 50 customers for the month. It's doable. I, I did more than 50 before a month. Curtis is doing more than 50 a month. A lot of leaders are doing it, so it's doable. 50 customers a month, time $100, because you make $100 per customer, that's $5,000 a month. You might not even need to work a job if you just master the skills to get customers. You get 100 customers a month, now you you in, you in the six figure. You trying to get you making six figure a year now. Big boy game. hundred customers is doable. 
I think the biggest I had was 80 something. Currently, at 100. Uh, we got Coach Legend that do over 150. We got people that close 200, 300 in one month. You do 100 customers times $100, you make $10,000 for the month. And in the back end, you get the residual income. Any customers that pay that bill for the three to six month time frame, you do 89 times 12, boom, a lot of income. Every customer that signed up, you get 12 for, for each customer that's in the service, fixing their credit for the three to six month time frame. You got 100 customers on the, on the system. Even if it takes you two, three months, you do 100 times 12, that's 1,200 residual income. This is a money if you spend everything now, next money come back again because the customer have to fix their credit. My part is done. I think I went over my time. Hope that I did an amazing job. Um, go in the chat. Let me know if you had value, if you learned something tonight. Uh, if you're going to apply this information that you learned tonight, let me know in the chat if you had value. Let me know in the chat if you had value. Uh, my time is done. I'm going to just give it back to the next gentleman, Mr. Curtis Cassius. This guy, I look up to him, man, respect him. Uh, this guy have an insane work ethic, man. We used to stay up 3 a.m. Till this day, man, I stay up that late. But this guy, every day, 3 a.m., he working. He put in the work in. So when you see his results, don't compare his results to your results because this guy stay up late and go to sleep. And any wake up early, he's doing everything he can, he can to make sure the team is going right. He didn't have to set this up, but he set it up to teach you guys how to do it, to share the knowledge with you. So, guys, I'm, I just want to bring... Uh, Mr. Curtis Casters, executive uh, vice president with, with the company, only 25 years old. The guy already a multiple six-figure income with the company within a year time frame. Getting his car paid for $1,500 a month for his car. When it collect $10,000, the company paid him for level two r and club last month. So he knows what he's going to talk about. I just want to give it back to Mr. Curtis Casters and I thank you for bringing me on board. I know I went over my time border. Um, so I just want to give it back to you. <laughs> My God, man. Um, I mean, Bert, I think, I don't know about anyone else, man, but, um, I believe I'm, I'm more excited than ever before. Um, I think guys, if you were confused, you didn't know how to get a lot of customers. Can you agree? You got that clarity now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you come in right now, like you know how to get a lot of customers right now. You're not confused anymore. And Bert, man, you know, we appreciate you. This, this gentleman is so young, already an RVP in the company doing over a quarter million a month, uh, car paid for, drive a brand new Mercedes Benz AMG. Man, I'm just so excited. If you guys are thankful, for the information that you just got from RVP Bertrand Dumont, please drop a fire emoji in the chat box. Let's light the chat all the way up right now. Guys, I'm jacked up. Like, I was taking so many notes. Uh, I don't know if you guys can actually see. I was taking notes from this gentleman. Like, you know, you can never know too much in this business. Like you could show up to the same training over and over. And it's that one piece of information that they just needed to say, you're like, that's what I needed. And you go and you blow up in your business. So man, I I'm just so fired up. And I know, look, the chat is burning up right now. Everybody's on fire. People are sold out, man. Thank you so much for that nug, man. Thank you so much for the knowledge. Guys, I'm going to spend just a few more minutes. I know you, you know, hey, look, you, some of you, you might be exhausted right now. You might be tired, you know. J excuse us, right? Had a little technical difficulty in the beginning. But we want to deliver to you today. We want to give you everything that you need to win in this business. And we want to give it to you raw. Like, we don't want to hide anything. We don't want to sugarcoat anything. We don't want to hold anything back. You saw it. He shared his screen. He showed you exactly how he's doing everything from one all the way to 100, from A all the way through Z. Like he's showing you these things. So you learned everything that you needed to know on how to get a lot of customers. How many of you are ready to learn everything you need to learn on how to get a lot of agents? 
if you're ready to learn how to get a lot of agents, if you're ready to learn how to level up, how to go sales director, how to go RSD, how to close ESD, some of you this month, you want to go vice president. If you're ready to learn all of this information in just a short period of time, drop them me in the chat box right now. I want to see who's fired up for real. Guys, like it's been a long time coming. We're four weeks in to the five week month. We're, we're, we're four weeks into the five week month. Everything that you're going to learn today is going to equip you to go all the way beast mode. I promise you, I'm going to give you everything I got so you can take your business to the very next level. So number one thing um, I want to go ahead and talk about um, on the agent side, right? If you are a brand new agent, obviously this is geared for every single person that's on here right now. All of you that made the sacrifice, but mainly for you that just got started, you don't know anything out of nothing. I want to mainly make sure I'm talking to you today, right? I want to be able to, you know, uh, give you guidance, provide you with some clarity. So that way, like the most basic thing can take your business to the very next level. So number one thing I want to talk about, I want you to, um, you know, understand this and never forget it. How to go field trainer. Because that's the main thing that a lot of people confuse, right? How can I go field trainer? You know, I just got started. I'm confused. I don't know how to talk to people, right? You know, how do I get them motivated to really support me like Bertrand was talking about? How do I do this? How do I do that? How can I make this happen? And I'm gonna tell you, when you are brand new, when you first got started, it doesn't matter if you're brand new or you're a professional, you've been in network marketing before, you can solidify what I'm saying right now it has to come from you making a list. If you're brand new, you literally just signed up a couple days ago. You just got started. The very first thing you should be doing is drawing out a list. Now, I want to give you a little nub. Drawing out that list. Don't be lazy drawing it out. Don't be lazy saying this person is going to do it and this person is not going to do it. If you are brand new right now, I want to give you the challenge. Draw and make a list of 40 name and numbers, 40 people that you know. Start with your top 10 people that you are very close with. Some people that might love you the most or you might love the most. Start out with those people, right? And kind of grow it from there, but make a list of 40 people. And here's what I want you to do. After you've made that list, we're not going to hide behind the phone, send a text, you know, anything like that. Now nah, we're going to pick up the phone and we're going to get those people fired up. We're going to pick up the phone and we're going to get these people to feel our energy. It's just like, you know, a movie that's out there, right? You're excited about, you know, the preview, you're, you're excited about the trailer. So you want everybody to actually come and see what's actually in the movie. So look at your business. Like you have a piece of gold who wouldn't want gold. Do you know the value of gold right now? You know how much it's worth? That's what your business is. A lot of people out there are still living paycheck to paycheck. A lot of people out there, they're still struggling, right? Just like I was, just like many of us was, right? But this business changed our lives. So you need to pretty much, you know, um, make this the highlight that, you know, this is golden, right? I want to invite you to take a look at this opportunity. Now, how do we, how do we exactly invite those people? Right after you make that list, yeah, Carlos, you said don't text them, but how can I pick up the phone and start talking to them? What's the very first thing that you know I gotta say? So I got something for you. It's two ways that you could do it. I'm gonna go ahead and share this script with you. Hopefully, it helps you. Um, and you know, you you just don't come in here and you know kind of take this thing light. You know, um, let me let me go ahead and share my screen with you all here. So. So the very famous phrase um, that is well known in network marketing, the very famous um, tactic is if I would you, right? And I'm showing you how to do this for free, right? You get started, you pick up your phone, you literally go through your contact list, like literally one by one, you're looking at, okay, I used to work with this person. Boom, put them on the list. Oh, you know, I used to dry clean with this person. Boom, put them on the list. Oh, I met this person at the mall. Boom, put them on the list. Drop every single person that you know, because you know what? You know why I don't want you to ever prejudge? 
Because three, four years ago, if you looked at me and you prejudged, you would not get me into network marketing. And little did you know, I was hungry. I was looking for an opportunity. That's why I tell you, just put every single person that you know on that list because you don't know who's gonna come and become that next vice president into your business. You don't know who's gonna come and become the next sales director into your business. If Valeski didn't pick up the phone, put me on his list and pick up the phone and gave me that phone call, today I would have never had the opportunity to become an executive vice president producing over half a million today in sales. You know what I mean? So let me go ahead and share with you guys the exact script. Uh, somebody said they cannot hear. Can you guys hear me okay? Drop a number one if you guys are able to hear me. Somebody said they cannot hear. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, you might have to check your audio. So everybody can hear me. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Perfect, guys. So let me share this with you guys so we can actually get moving, right? So number one, here's something that I came and, um, and actually put together for you guys, right? Hopefully you guys can see this. Hopefully it's, it's big enough, right? I wasn't able to put together a PowerPoint, but I wanted to give you guys this. What I will do is I will make sure I drop this in the Telegram so that way you guys can have access to it. So after you've made that list, right? The very famous thing in network marketing, if I would you, and we're going to put it together. If I would you remember that if you forget anything from the customer side, the agent side, remember if I would you, and you're going to be able to make a lot of money. So let's say you, you, you put together that list, you start calling those people. Number one, the very first thing I want you to do is I want you to build rapport. Don't just boom, drop it in their, their pocket like it's hot potato, right? You know, build rapport, sound like you care, right? Sound like, you know, you, you actually called them to check on them, like not just boom, called them to just drop an opportunity on their lap, right? So number one, if I'm calling my cousin, for example, right? Let's say my cousin's name is Gene, right? So, hey, Gene, what's going on, man? You know, I know it's Corona out there. How's everything? The family's good. The kids are good. Everything is good. You know, you kind of build that rapport, you know, a little bit, get them to be comfortable, break the ice. Now, after you've done that, right? Hey, Gene, look, I just started working on a big project with some professionals that make some serious money. And I thought of you. They're expanding in the area. If I were to save you an invite, would you come and take a look? Does that make sense, guys? Very, very, very simple. In the beginning, your job is not to know everything. It's not to know that FES costs 288 to join. It's not to know that we have a field trainer level and then we got SVP level and then we got pinnacle level. It's not your job to know all of that. Your job, you got excited when you got in front of the information. Your job is to get excited to get other people in front of the information and the rest will work itself out. So that's the first script I got for you guys. And I'm gonna go over it again. You want to be pumped up. You want to be fired up. Yo, Gene, what's good, bro? Man, everything good? You safe, man? You know, Corona ain't get you out there, man. Everything solid? Boom, man. I'm glad, man. You know, it's a crazy world right now, especially during this time. But, bro, check it, man. I got something for you real quick. I just started working on a big project with some professionals that make some serious money, and I thought of you. They're actually expanding in the area. If... I were to save you an invite, would you come and take a look? Let's say Gene say, yeah, I'll definitely come and take a look, bro. What is it? Tell me about it. What, what, what is it I have to do? What, what, what is it that you're talking about? Well, look, man, I can't promise you anything. And this is where you edify your upline. Let's say you're working with Dr. Moyes, right? This, this guy's a well-respected doctor. Here's what I would say. Look. I can't promise you anything, man, but I got a chance to work with this doctor. He just started with this project. In a short time, his business right now is doing over 100 grand a month as a vice president. He's sacrificing his time tonight at seven to come show us exactly how he's doing it all from home. Look, man, I got, look, I got like 50 other people that's ready to show up. I just need to make sure you're serious because I can't stay too long on the phone because I got to get them an invite. Otherwise, they can't come in. 
you make it exclusive. Does that make sense? Are you guys learning something? If this is a good, if this is good info, give me good info in the chat. Uh, if this is helping you in any way, shape, or form, type a good info right now in the chat. Perfect. Perfect. Don't worry. I know some people are saying it's too small. Don't worry about it. I'm going to drop it in that telegram for you, um, you know, so you guys can actually have access to it. Don't, don't worry about it. Remember, guys, if I would you and just edify your upline. Let's say you're, you're that brand new agent. You go ahead, you put your list together. You're ready to work on it. Just communicate with your upline. Hey, look, I'm getting ready to invite everybody. When can you do a Zoom for me? I'm getting ready to invite everybody I know. Can you do a Zoom for me tonight? Can you do a Zoom for me tomorrow? Can you do a Zoom for me on Monday? Get excited about getting your people in front of the information. In another script that is also all over the back office for you, I'm also going to drop this in the Telegram. Don't worry. Don't get scared, right? And your leaders can actually share it with you. Hey, right, Gene or Marie, whatever the person name might be, you build, you build a little rapport, right? I have a quick question. If you could have your credit score increase at potentially no cost and make some extra money, would you take a look? What do you guys see that's quite similar? If I would you, some of you, you're laughing right now because that's how you got recruited into the business. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Don't overcomplicate this business. Don't think you got to be an expert. You got to be able to speak a thousand words per minute to become the next sales director because that's not true. I became an RSD and I didn't even know what the heck I was doing. I'll be honest with you. I got great at inviting and the rest came after. Listen to what I'm saying right now. I got great at inviting and the rest came after. If you can become a professional inviter in this business, your, your, your bank account is going to make it to a professional status. I guarantee it. If you can become a professional inviter, getting people in front of the information, you're going to get to the point where you're going to make a lot of money in this business, more than you can calculate. So remember, if I would you, famous phrases. So let's say, for example, I want to invite my cousin Gene to work with Dr. Moise, right? Or I want to invite my cousin Gene to come into my business. But I'm, uh, Dr. Moise is my upline. He's a vice president. And I said, Dr. Moise, can you do a presentation for me tomorrow at 7? And he said, yes. Right. So now my goal is I want to go field trainer. I need to make sure I get three people to sign up tomorrow. So I make a list of 40 people. I'm getting 40 people in there tomorrow by, by any means. I'm getting 40 people in there. No excuses. Right. So I call up Gene as my first person. Yo, Gene was good, bro. Everything good. Everything cool. The wife is good. Everything. All right. You know, you're, you're, nothing's crazy is happening. Right. I know it's a crazy world out there. Nah, man, everything's good, man. Well, I, number one, I just wanted to check on you, man. I'm glad you're doing okay. But real quick, I got a quick question for you, Gene. If you could have your credit score increase at potentially no cost, meaning you ain't even had to pay for it, right? It's free and make some extra money. Would you be down to taking a look? Yeah, I'll be down to take a look, get my credit score worked on. I'm also trying to get a house. Yeah, for sure, man. What I got to do? What is it about? Look, man. I'm working with this, um, with, with this doctor. His name is Doc Moyes. He's very, very big in the community, especially in the Haitian community. He became a vice president very quickly in this company um, where his business right now is doing over, over 100 grand a month in sales, man. And tomorrow at 7, he's actually coming to show us exactly how he did it all from home. Look, I got 50 people. <laughs> that's just waiting on me to confirm because they're ready to show up. I need to make sure you're going to be there. And that's it. Do you think you can do that? If you think you can become a professional at just inviting people to take a look at the information like that, I promise you, it's only, it's, it's, it's only about the time you're going to get to the point where you will be the next vice president. You're going to get to the point where you will be the next senior vice president taking care of your family, creating that legacy for your kids, creating that lifestyle that you've always, always dreamed of. 
right? And that's how you do it. Now, a lot of people, you're in the business right now, you're seasoned. Uh, how many people feel like they're struggling? Like you, you didn't tap, you didn't call everyone that you could think of. Like, and you feel like your business is at a standstill. Like your business is not moving. Like if that's you, just give me a me in the chat. I want to see who, who I could actually probably relate to when I was building this business first off. Like if you feel your business is at a standstill, like everybody died, <laughs> like nobody's doing anything. Give me a me in the chat box. I'm going to, I'm actually going to give you a solution for that. And I'm going to show you why that happened. Right. All right, I can see it. I can see it flying in. I can see it flying in. Number one, here's why your business is not moving. Okay, this, this is the secret I'm gonna give you. The reason why your business is not moving, it's not going anywhere, nobody's doing anything right now, is because you did not master the power of duplication. See, this business, when you understand all it is, is monkey see, monkey do, you're gonna win big. You're gonna win big. Like how many of us, like you join this business because you see maybe in two, three years, you can retire. You never have to work ever in your life. Some of us, right? Like for real. But guess what? You will only get there if while you're sleeping, you have other people with the same goal, the same mindset that's out there working. See, the person that recruited me, I'm sure he clocks out and he starts sleeping at like 10, 11 o'clock. I'm up at 3 a.m. Guess what? <laughs> I'm on his team. So he gets paid in his sleep while I'm working. So here's what I mean by that. Here's how I'm gonna help you fix that issue, okay? Here's how I'm gonna help you pretty much like get, get a problem solver for that, right? So what you need to do Everything that you did coming on, you need to make sure that other people are doing getting on. I'm gonna give you an example. So for example, remember I told you, your goal, you come in, you make a list of 40 people, you invite all of them to come take a look at the information, right? Boom, let's say you get 40 people invited, you get like four or five people to sign up. The goal is not to go the next day and do it again. That's a job. That's not a business. I, I hope y'all feel me right now, right? It's a job, not a business. The goal should be those four people that signed up. The four people that signed up. Look, man, let me work with you real quick. You know what I did when I started? I made a list of 40 people. We're going to sit together. We're going to make your list of 40 people. I'm not letting you go without making your list of 40 people because you say you want to retire your mom. You say you're excited about the six ways that we get paid in the business. We're going to draw your list. We're going to get 40 people. I need you to make a list of 40 people right now. And we're going to invite them to come take a look at Dr. Moyes. We're going to invite them to come take a look at how he makes money. We're going to invite them to come take a look how he created freedom for his wife, his kids, how he's living the life of, you know, the American dream today. Now you get those people to invite their folks. Guess what? Now they did the same thing. They got their three agents. You're going to train them how to get their agents to create that list. And here's what happened. Here's why your team stops. Here's why your team doesn't move. Here's why everybody is stagnant because all you did, you just dropped a whole bunch of people in the system. Now, when those whole bunch of people in the system got signed up, you know, People are going to lose motivation and you can agree or disagree. Even you sitting right here on the zoom at one point, you weren't motivated. You all, matter of fact, you almost didn't even show up to the training today. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, people are going to lose motivation, but the error that you make because you just dropped a whole bunch of people in the system and you weren't focused on tap rooting, going through the people that they knew when they lost the motivation, you lost their people as well. The minute somebody gets started, you need to be going through their contacts because you know why you don't need to be exhausting, you know, your contact, like what good is it? You sign up 50 people because everybody respects you. Everybody knows you in the city, right? You sign up all those 50 people. Can you do it again in three months? 
Can you do it again in six months? Can you do it again a year from now? Absolutely not. You work with the people that came into your organization, make them priority, not that duplication. You might be able to ride that way for a good four to five months before you got to go back and create another list. Guys, I'm going to tell you this. I made a list of 150 people when I started an FES back in June or July, June, July of 2019 is when I actually got going with FES. I made a list of 150 people. Through those 150 people, I found some key people that wanted to do the business that lasted me for over a year. I never had to tap into my contacts again. But you know what? Let me tell you what you want. You want three people that's going to sign up real quick. Boom, you're done. And then you want the magic script that you can use on social media to attract more people. And then you want another magic script on what you can say for this person to not call you a scammer. And then you want another magic script on how to make sure they show up to the morning call. And then you want another magic script on how to show up to a train. No, nah, it doesn't work like that. It does not work like that. Take your time to creating someone to become the next you. That's how you create freedom. How I was able to become an EVP and enjoy my life today, be able to travel the world and get up and go anywhere I please because I focus on making other people the next version that I was. I, I'm dedicated, I'm hungry, I'm motivated, I'll go to war about my goals. I focus on duplicating other people like that. So if the first step that you did was make a list of 40 people, got your three agents and two customers, that needs to be your focus in the beginning. And then the next step, you help them duplicate that. Man, you're gonna have 20 levels deep. Your team is just gonna be growing and growing and growing and growing. And all you gotta do is plug into the trainings every week. Invite them to the morning calls every single morning to get motivated. And that's how you build a business in the beginning. Look, I ain't even show you social media yet. Can you agree you could build a monster business with just the tactics I showed you just now? With just the tactics I showed you just now, you can build a monster business. Guys, I was talking to, um, I was talking to uh, one of my leaders, Wismit Mornius, the other day. He was like, man, like, it's crazy. I looked at my back office and I looked at my earnings for the year um like i'm shocked man like i haven't even went full throttle yet like i'm not even promoting on social media like i should and i'm like um why do you think that is because like man the, the fact that i have duplication in my organization right now this guy got people like gene mary that don't even need him G. Mary is doing his own presentations. You got people like Serge Lambert, right? Doing his own presentation, getting their people leveled up and duplicating. And I'm like, man, you know what? This is what it's about. Because when he started, the only focus was, look, I had to create my list, got people in front of the information. I'm going to get those people to do the same. I'm going to repeat it again. If you become a professional inviter, you can make a lot of money in this business. I remember taking a look at the group chat, looking at, you know, the, the, the progression of one of our amazing leaders today, Dr. Moist, man, you know, seeing all the powerful things this guy is doing in the business and see how he's attracting a lot of leaders today, making some serious money. And I look back, I'm like, man, you know what? The power of duplication can be crazy. Like how many of you, Think like your, your, your business will be set if Will Smith Mornius joined your team, if Joe Johnson joined your team, Dr. Moist was underneath you, Curlins was underneath you, and Bertrand was underneath you. How many of you think your business, you're, you're, you're set for life? Give me a meet in the chat box. Like, you're like, okay, yeah, I'm set for life. If these five people join my team, I go on vacation for two years. Forget six months. I go on vacation for two years, right? You got five solid people that you never have to worry about again. But let me give it to you this way. Guess what? You haven't even recruited the next Curlins yet. You haven't even recruited the next Dr. Moist yet. 
You haven't even recruited the next Bertrand. You haven't even recruited the next Joe Johnson. You haven't even recruited the next Gene Abaddon or Abdon, right? You haven't even recruited those people. You know where they are? Right here. Right here in your contact list. Right there on your Facebook. Right there on your Instagram. All you got to do, put them on the list and make that phone call. Make that phone call. I never knew one phone call would find me a Tano Boggle that would be a fast RSD in my team today. I never knew. I'm like, man, this guy's selling cars. He's already making big money. He's good. I don't need this credit thing. I'm like, Come on. I don't need this. But guess what? I picked up the phone one day. I called him. Got in front of the information. Tano said, I'd never forget it. He said, bro, let's run. Let's run. Today, this man is already at $25,000, over $25,000. He's going to be closing in ESD this month. But how would I know? If I would have never wrote his name on a list to contact him, how would I know? How would I know? Then I found someone, you guys might know him. You guys see him a lot. You guys might recognize him. Joel Johnson. I didn't even know this dude from a can of worms. I went to an event that, you know, my last company was doing and I was, I was walking out and, you know, someone was talking to me and I got his number. We kept in touch. Guess what? I'm making my list. I was like, there's this guy I met in North Carolina. His name is Joe. You know what? I don't care. He's going on my list. I'm about to call this guy. I'm about to get him excited. I'm about to get him in front of this information. I got Joe in front of this information. Today, do you know that Joe Johnson is a vice president doing $100,000 a month? And I almost didn't call him. I'm like, man, this guy don't know me. I don't have any relationship with him. I don't know this dude from a can of worms. It's going to be kind of awkward, but I did it anyways. And you know what? As we got to know each other in the business, we got to know each other deeply. He's like, Carlos, I, I'm not afraid to tell you, bro, but before you called me, I was sleeping on the floor because I couldn't afford to get an apartment. You... Sometimes you don't know that God is probably using you to get that person on your list so you can become that angel he sends to be the deliverance for that person. You don't know. I had a serious conversation after Valeski got me started in this business. You know, I, I leveled up. I became RSD. I became ESD. I became a VP. I sat down. I was like, Joe, I mean, um, Valeski, I got to take you to lunch, man. We got to talk. I was like, do you know you changed my life? He's like, I, I don't know, man. You know, one day I was sitting back. I put you on the list and um, I said, I got to give this guy a call. I'm like, dude, you changed my life. Before you called me, I was in debt for $40,000. I didn't have a job. I didn't know how I was going to pay it. He introduced me to this information, guys. Today, I, I, I paid all my debt, helped my mom retire, was able to buy my parents a house, all because I was on his list and he gave me a phone call. That's the power of it. We're not telling you this to, 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 to become awkward, weird, hey, you know, make this list. And it, nah, like we're for real about this stuff. We're for real. Like, and I know some people that I, I haven't talked about, but you're going through some stuff and you got that call from, you know, from the person that got you signed up in FES and you're thankful that you're here. I don't know your story. I don't know your journey, but I'm sure one day we're going to get to hear it. I'm sure one day we're going to get to hear it. But here's a warning. As you go and challenge yourself to make that list, understand not everybody's going to say yes. Understand what, when we shut off this computer, all 147 of people drop off. Everybody goes on about, you know, their business. Everybody goes on and do what they're supposed to do. Understand this is when you're going to get tested. Some of the people that you're going to call to come take a look at the information, 
they might hang up on you. They might say this is a scam. You know what I'm saying? Your mom might not even support the vision. I look, man, I, I get it. I understand. Like, I didn't just make a list of a hundred people and then boom, magic happened and I'm here. I made a list of a hundred people, a hundred and fifty people, probably a good 79 to 83 percent of them told me, go, go screw myself. This ain't going to work. Go back to school. Get a real job. Stop bothering people to join these things. I heard all of it. Like my best friend brought me a stack of pages from Google on how this was the biggest scam. And he didn't want to be, he didn't want to be a part of it. He didn't want to be a part of it. But you know what? I always talk about this story. I was able to visit him and I went back. I was like, hey, look, man, I'm just checking back on you, man. You know, just making sure you're good. He's like, dude, man, I see you all over Instagram. One day you're here. One day you're there, man. I'm so proud of you, man. And I like, have a seat. Let's talk real quick. Remember one day you told me this was the biggest scam. I just want to tell you, I'm glad I didn't listen to you. Because you know what? Today, this business allowed me to finally get my, myself out of debt, get my mom out of debt, buy them a house. It helped me a lot. And I want you to know something before you go and do it to the next person. Just because you don't see something for yourself, don't stop someone else from dreaming. And he said, man, you're so right. You're so right. I had to actually go and pick up two jobs just to keep up with these student loans, keep up with these bills. If I would have listened to you, I would have been right there with you, man. You told me to join. You told me it was going to work. You told me. It was so I just want to warn you you're going to have those people that's going to try to steal your dream. You're going to have those people that's going to tell you it's not going to work. But I want you to build the courage. Keep going. It might not happen right now. You might call 50 and it seems like nobody want to show up to the webinar. Keep going. You might call 60 and they say they're going to show up. They don't show up. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. Now we're going to do a quick exercise, right? A quick exercise before we go ahead and clock out. And I appreciate all of you that stuck this thing out. I want you to go ahead and, um, you know, close your eyes for me real quick, right? Close your eyes for me real quick. And I want you to just imagine where you are right now, currently. You might be in debt, you might not be in debt, you might have a lot of stuff that's weighing you down, family that don't believe in you right now, you might be behind on rent, don't know the, you know, the next letter that you're going to get, if it's going to be eviction or not, haven't paid your car note in a long time, like whatever it is that you're facing, like, I want you to just imagine yourself in it right now. Imagine yourself in it right now. Now, I want you to just think about this light at the end of the tunnel. See, what's weighing you down right now, keeping you where you currently are, are your current circumstances. The current problems that you are facing right now. What you're in the middle of right now is the deliverance. And the deliverance is not something that you just push a button and then you just go full throttle and it just happens. It's a process that you gotta grow through. One by one, you're gonna let down the problems that you're gonna go through. One by one, you're gonna let go of the people that don't believe in you. One by one, you're gonna climb yourself out of debt. And I, wanna, I want you to just imagine this, that dream car that you've always wanted to have, that dream house that you've always wanted to wake up in, the Louis bag, the Gucci bag, right? I want you to just imagine yourself, the time freedom, like you're able to get good sleep, your body's feeling good, your skin is healthy. I want you to just imagine that. Now, think about all you have to do within the process. Just sacrifice a few years. Just sacrifice a few years. It might be one, it might be two, it might be three, but I want you to open your eyes. Would it be worth it to sacrifice those small years and then you find yourself living in your dreams? You find yourself living in that house. Like you're, you find yourself driving that car. You find yourself looking at your mom and say, look, mom, you ain't got to worry about nothing today. 
<laughs> you good? <laughs> like, you good? Like, it was so fulfilling to me. I went to my mom's house today. And, um, you know, we, was, we, we sat down, we had a conversation. And, um, you know, I handed my mom my debit card. And I said, look, I want you to keep this for the weekend. She said, how much can I spend on it? I said, whatever you want. You know how good that felt? Do you know how good that felt? And this is not to put a spotlight, you know, to make it seem, you know, like, like something it's not, absolutely not. But to show you, I sacrificed a few short years so I could one day look at my mom that was getting yelled at by some people just because we couldn't pay rent. Like I was going to school with um, and ones because we couldn't afford to put real name brand shoes on my feet because my mom couldn't afford it. Like I grew up watching my mom, you know, work two jobs and we still couldn't pay the bills, man. Like, um, <clears throat> yeah, to now, My mom don't have to take the bus anymore. Like she actually has a car she could drive. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody could ever disrespect her to come kick her out because the house has her last name on it. You feel what I'm saying? Like that's why I go so hard. That's why I go full throttle. That's why I made that list. That's why I duplicated my organization the way that I did it. I didn't want to become the guy that acquires some type of level of success and, you know, go get the exotic things, go get the exotic chains, go get the watches. Like, I'm watch free. I want my family to be good. Like, I, I want us to wake up and know that like, we don't got to worry about the bills anymore. That's what I care about. And this is the legacy that I am telling you that you can create if you just go hard. Don't go to sleep without being a field trainer today, man. Like, I feel you, you owe that to your family. Like, you owe that to the life that you got to create. Like, I feel like you owe it. Like, you want to go RSD? Like, don't go to sleep without it being done. You feel what I'm saying? Like, we get tired of coming on in here and just saying a few words just to motivate you. I ain't here to pump you up. Like, I really live everything that I talk about. Like, yeah, you know, they talk about Crohn's go to sleep at three in the morning. If you got me on Instagram, you see it's for real. Like, it's for real. Like, we don't fake this thing. So with that being said, I want all of you, you got enough information today to blow up your business. I appreciate you, number one, for giving us all the time that you gave us today. You didn't have to. I love each and every single one of you from the bottom of my heart. Mogul Nation for life. Team Doc Moist that's winning out there. Salute to the Haitian community. Salute to Alexandra Moist. Salute to Jean Abdon, Jean Mary Serge. All of our top leaders that's doing a phenomenal job. I love each and every single one of y'all from the bottom of my heart. Take care. God bless. Let's blow this thing up, man.